if you only knew the power of the dark side. Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet. <laughs> the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. And I, and I do want to add, Lord Trigger. Because I trigger these noobs so ridiculous. I mean, look, it's been a week since I posted a video, I think. About a week and a few days. And I mean, I wake up every morning for these these fiends, these trolls are yearning for more. They're yearning for more. They can't get enough. They talk so much shit, but they just can't get enough. Why? <laughs> Despite the fact that YouTube's algorithm isn't in my favor from some sh for some strange reason, you know? I'm still highly requested by the trolls at least for now. So, got to give the trolls and the people what they want. So, this video here, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure you're all aware that <sighs> Kanika, I mean Kenny KO is back. The guy who uh <laughs> you remember my last video I made on the Kenny KO guy, so you know me and Kenny I'm not a fan of Kenny KO and his fraudulence. Now this video here, he's pretty much calling out, you know, this whole this whole topic here is pretty much about rounded shoulders. And he had some guy on here, you know, he didn't say his name because he doesn't want to give any promotion to the guy in fear of retaliation. You know, like some people on here do, you know, they talk a little shit, but then they won't say the person's name. So I don't know who the guy is. Um, let me see if I can find it in the video. But there's the guy sitting in his car. This guy. Holy shit. Call him Chinopolis. But this guy. <laughs> Holy, all right, let me stop. Yeah, this guy here, you know, he's he's trying to give his advice on how to spot a fake natty. And he's talking about if you have rounded shoulders, then you're 100% fake natty. That's what he's saying. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that's not entirely true. Now, that is a good detector. If a person has overly big shoulders, it is a hell of a good detector if they're natural or not. But you also have to factor in the fact that, hey, I have really capped shoulders, really capped delts, but I'm natural. So what it all comes down to is one of the main factors this guy neglected to put into his video rant he put here is that how much time did it take that person to get those muscles? If you know, they started day one, you know, kind of like that um, Dylan McKenna guy. He started out real rookie-ish, you know, average everyday Joe. Then within like a year, next thing you know, he's on here swole as hell with his buddy David Laid. Bench press going up, dramatically going up. You know, then, yeah, you know, n not natty. Not natty at all. Safe to say that. Now, if a person takes time, like me, and then you end up working for those cap shoulders. Well, then if you saw me in the gym, yes, you know, today, right? And I'm over here doing my thing and I'm ripped and you're like, oh, damn, he got to be on some steroids. No, you don't know the backstory of that person. You just saw me in the gym one day getting my swole on doing what I do. And you decided to think, OK, well, he must be on some stuff because look at him. He's veiny. Look at him. Look at his shoulders. Look at the definition. Look at those biceps. I mean, goddamn, he, he's the baddest man on the planet. He has to be on some shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that comes into play. But, you know, Kenny KO. Let me play a little bit of what he's saying here. Instead of having cap delts, yeah. So does that mean, though, that someone with the round cap delts that aren't flat with their arm are going to be unnatural? No, it basically comes down to genetics. Just like everything else, everyone is gonna respond differently to steroids. So like I was talking about with genetics, some people just have more capped and well-defined delts that are more accentuated. So the fact of saying that someone who has more round delts out past, you know, where their arm would normally be flat, that theory just makes zero sense. And he's trying to spread false knowledge out there. In fact, I can show you numerous pictures, which I'm gonna do here in a second as I'm talking and do a voice overlay is basically steroids like i mentioned are going to affect everyone differently you know if all right well you know he's saying some truth there i'm not going to bash the guy like i said this isn't a bashing channel right now 
I'm in the exposing phase, the news phase. You know, what's hot out there? You know, this guy's talking about some no-name guy with the extremely large chin area, jaw area, talking about steroids. Um, yeah, can he, he's, he's, he's sort of right about that. You know, he, you know. Um, it comes down to genetics. That's like a chick with ass and a chick with no ass. That's genetics. One is genetically blessed to have some ass cheeks. The other one is flat as a pancake. That's just your genetics. So some people have, you know, bigger shoulders. Some people don't. Now, if you don't have extremely capped shoulders, you can still build them, but it's going to take time. So, you know, it's, it's, if our, you know, it's wishy-washy because you can be genetically unblessed and get on steroids and steroids are going to activate your genetics because steroids, they, they work. Unless you're one of those people who are might be allergic to the shit or have a bad reaction immediately upon taking it. Like, you take a shot, oh, what the fuck, you know? Unless you're one of those people, if you get on the sauce, good genetics or bad genetics, and you start working out, you're gonna get some you're gonna get some crazy results now the people who are genetically blessed like imagine a chick with ass taking steroids and doing squats is gonna get even bigger ass even faster because it's genetically already there versus a girl who has no ass who's doing the same thing taking the same amount of drugs she's gonna get some ass too but you know just not as big because she's already behind and it's not genetics but the steroids are going to override those genetics and start to give you ass now you the ass is not going to be as big as the other girl is fast but you get what i'm saying it's all about the sauce and how long the person is on it so at this point in time it's really hard to tell if a person is natural or not in some cases because of time you know what i'm saying how much time did it take if a guy is 18 19 17 years old 18 years old and um, he's just fucking buff as hell. Chances are that kid, you know, is awesome shit. Now, when I was that age, hey, I had some, I, I had a lot of muscle, but I wasn't to the point where it just looked unnatural. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's a game. At the end of the day, focus on what you're doing. Because if you're too worried about that guy is on steroids, that guy on steroids, that guy on steroids, then you know you're not really working on yourself. Just know that. That element is at, is out there. That factor is out there. All right? There are going to be people who are going to be taking shit. That factor is there. The lie, it, the lie is prevalent. It's always going to be around. So just at the end of the day, just focus on what the hell you're doing. Make your gains. You stay natural. You stay healthy. And you build your shit up. And then one day someone's going to walk up to you like they do to me and say, What are you taking? <laughs> I got some shit to sell. You want some shit? You know what I'm saying? Then you look them dead in the eye like I do and say, You got about five seconds to get the hell out of my face. Or you won't have a face. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Real serious. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym. Do work. And muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? But the phony niggas up the Say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.